After a stunning presidential election, both Democrats and Republicans are looking to the future. Since President-elect Donald Trump tapped current Republican National Committee Chairman Reince Priebus to be his chief of staff, he now has the power to fill the Republican Party's top vacancy. So who will Trump pick to be RNC chair? He could choose a loyal ally, like his former campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski. Or he could shake things up by picking a female. The AP reports Trump is considering Michigan GOP party leader Ronna Romney McDaniel, the niece of former Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney. The next RNC chair will be tasked with uniting a fractured Republican party following a tense and divisive election season. They'll also be looking for ways to harness the power of Trump's success and translate it into fundraising dollars for the midterms. Meanwhile, the Democrats are scrambling to select their next chair after failing to win the White House and majorities in the Senate and House. You have got to make a decision which side you're on. Democrats have got to stand with the working families of this country. The party faces pressure to pick new and trustworthy leaders after a rocky year in which the DNC was mired by scandal. So who might fill the shoes of former DNC chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz and interim DNC chairwoman Donna Brazil? Minnesota Representative Keith Ellison, the first Muslim elected to Congress, has emerged as a favorite of prominent progressives. You got to have a vision to strengthen the grassroots, to strengthen the grassroots at the party, at the party unit, at the county level, at the precinct level. Ellison has the backing of Senators Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, as well as members of the Democratic establishment, like Senator Chuck Schumer. But some in the party believe the chair should not be a member of Congress or have another job while serving. Other possible contenders for the position include former presidential candidate Martin O'Malley, outgoing Labor Secretary Tom Perez, Army veteran Jason Kander, and former DNC chair Howard Dean. The position, which will be filled by the DNC at its meeting in early 2017, is sure to pose major challenges. I think it's a healthy thing for the Democratic Party to go through uh, some reflection. The party must find its footing after a shocking defeat in 2016, but it doesn't have much time to assess the damage. Democrats will be defending 25 seats in the Senate and more than 190 seats in the House in the 2018 midterms.